Hey guys, remember the wheel we built with spokes that are too long? Well, today we're going to finish truing, tensioning, and dishing it. I'm not really sure if this is going to work, so keep watching and we'll see what happens together. At this point, the tops of the spokes are flush to the nipple flats. It's kind of tough to see, but there's about 2 millimeters of slack to the nipple top after that point. As you can see, there's hardly any tension on the spokes, making the initial truing process easier. We're going to true and try to get it as centered as possible while dishing the wheel at the same time. It's a lot to ask, <laughs> it's a lot to ask, but that's what we're going to try and do. As you can see here, I'm just going to look for my offending spokes and tighten a few turns wherever they need to be pulled over to either the left or right. If there are low points, we're going to tighten. If there are high points, we're going to loosen. It's just a constant flow of correction. We correct a little bit, and if it doesn't work, we correct a little more. We continue until it's as good as it can possibly be. Because we have to remember that these are rescue wheels. They're used, and we're just trying to give them a second life. So there's no way that these are going to be perfect, but we can get them as close as possible. Now every time the video cuts, I'm adding tension, taking the wheel out of the stand, de-stressing it, and putting it back in to start over. I'm not going to show you all this because it's time consuming and pretty basic. I have other videos where I show this and really de-stressing is simply simulating stress on the wheel. Since initial tension on this wheel wasn't too bad, it's just sort of fine tuning at this point. We've been pretty lucky with this rim, so what I'll do is just play some tunes while you watch the initial truing process.
That's looking pretty clean. That's looking pretty clean and smooth. I'm happy with that. There's just a tiny, tiny little bit of a hop there. The tiniest little gimp. Okay, so what we're seeing here is the longer spokes protruding through the nipples. It's tough to see head on, but there's about two millimeters of spoke protrusion and to me, that's perfectly acceptable, especially for rescue wheels. Okay, I haven't checked this yet, so let's do it together and see how perfect I got it, <laughs> if at all. That's nice and tight. Just gotta flip it over. There we go. All right, our dish is perfect. We've now successfully and properly trued, tensioned, and dished our wheel with an acceptable amount of spoke protrusion through the nipples, but not enough that they protrude through the second wall of the rim. To watch the entire process to successfully achieve this type of project, you can click right here.